Ciao everyone, this is Sarah with Fit On Point. Today I'm gonna to show you five muscle stretches to achieve your middle split. So if this is something that you've been wanting to do, this is a great video for you to follow along. And if you've ever been struggling with your splits, this is gonna be good for you because I'm gonna guide you through every uh, stretch that is important to achieve your middle split. <music> The routine that I'm about to show you involves the five basic stretches that will help you to get your desired middle split. These stretches are organized in a specific order and they are meant to target and extend the right muscles. Please do this once your body is nice and warm. They are perfect to do after any kind of workout. Also take in consideration your current flexibility. So be gentle and remember that patience and repetition will get you there. Enjoy. Begin with a very fundamental stretch, the butterfly position. Bring the soles of your feet together, lengthen your spine, and press your elbows on your knees as you hinge forward. Then extend your arms in front of you and think about reaching far. Maybe try walking your hands even further. It helps to keep your spine feeling long. Just relax and breathe. Now come up slowly to get into the next stretch. Extend one leg in front of you and keep the other foot right beside your knee. Extend your arms up, then reach up and over towards your ankle. You can stay here or flex your foot for a stronger stretch. Slowly come up, let's get into the other side. Extend the other leg in front of you, again the other foot stays beside your knee. Reach your arms up and over and hold the stretch. Option to flex the foot. Keep thinking about lengthening your spine as much as possible. Now slowly come up to seated position. Next, extend both of your legs in front of you, reaching these arms once again up and over. Make sure to keep your shoulders and forehead both looking down. To increase the stretch, you can flex both feet, otherwise keep them pointed or relaxed. Come up to seated position. Now roll down onto your back, then take your hands to your ankles or to your heels. This is your happy baby position. To focus more attention on your inner thighs, try bringing your heels right over your knees. Option to stay still or rock side to side. Also, press your lower back strongly onto the floor. Mm -hmm. 
release the position for a couple of seconds. Now change the hands from the heels or ankles to the back of your knees or even your calves. Extend your legs to opposite directions. You can add some light pressure with your arms to create a little bounce and release. Don't forget to keep your knees locked and your lower back pressing on the floor. If this means that your legs need to come up a bit, that's totally fine. This is a strong stretch, so keep breathing. And take your legs and hug them to your chest. We have one more stretch that will really help you open your hips. Bring yourself to all fours, keeping your feet together, slide your knees out and lower down to your forearms. Here it's easy to arch your back, but tuck your hips instead, pushing your pelvis forward to keep your back safe and the work on your inner thighs. Press up and slide your knees back together to get out of the stretch. You are now ready to open to a wide straddle, just where you start feeling your inner thighs getting tighter. Bring your arms in front of you and hold. But if it's easy for you, then take your elbows closer to the floor. Wherever you are with your middle split, just make sure you're keeping your knees straight and breathe deeply. Maybe try reaching one inch further last time and then come up. I hope you found this video informational. If you did, please drop a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting more stretching videos also to do before and after a workout and just to achieve more flexibility. So stay tuned and see you in the next one.